right Here, now. Go ahead, say it, say it. Even if it was already said. You can say, say it in German, how about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say it into the mic. Into the mic. Um, in German? Yeah, say, you're, you're from Austria. <laughs> yeah, but there's a yeah. You don't speak German? Of course I speak German. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Say, say it in German. Um, Can you say something? Yeah, just say it in German. Okay. Um, wait, I have to think. <laughs> or like Austrian, wouldn't it? Mm, Austrian. Well, yeah. there's, they, they speak, speak German. German. Yeah, German. I know they do, but isn't Austrian its own language too? I think it's I'm just not a different Austrian, dialect. It's German too, okay. like Germany. <laughs> I'm just asking. I don't know. I'm trying to get culture. <laughs> <laughs> um, Go ahead. In weil German. Weil sie hat ja gesagt, ähm, dass die Männer sich aussuchen, auch wenn sie mhm. verheiratet sind, dass yep. und sie kann halt machen, was sie will. Und aber sie muss ja nicht, wenn sie verheiratet sind, sollte sie trotzdem nein dazu sagen. Yeah. Or I 100% agree. I feel like my <laughs> <laughs> just raised. <laughs> Boom. Um, nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Next tweet. Next tweet. I think we did this one, but it popped up. Men are pun. Yeah, we uh, saw uh, that one. Yeah, we did that yeah. one. Did we? Yeah. yeah. Did we? No. I think it was something no. similar, sure. though. It was no. probably something similar. That one was way too memorable. It was similar. Yeah. yeah. Next one, then. I really have only been in the mood to play Fortnite and make <laughs> men cry lately. <laughs> uh, okay. And it's in the Fortnite part. Cool. Glad you do. <laughs> you guys have something in common. Um, <laughs> Lots of next. Fortnite cars. It's kind of sad when you think about the fact that the patriarchy literally indoctrinates women to hate other women for being women. You look like a clown. Mm, the patriarchy. Can is you? that the last tweet, Nick? I believe so. Okay. Just double check if it is. Uh, so why don't we get into the patriarchy stuff, and then we'll get Yay. into more actual dating stuff in a bit. Uh, <laughs> It's related. It is. Yeah. You know, the patriarchy has a lot to do with dating. Sure. So, uh, you, I asked earlier if you consider yourself a feminist. You said no. But, I wouldn't label I myself mean, as that. I'm sure I align with feminist values, yeah. Right, because you, 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 oh my God, I'm having like a stroke tonight or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm out of it. Uh, you use a lot of feminist coded language. Sure, yeah. Patriarchy. For example, uh, so what is the patriarchy? Actually, wait, before I have you answer that, I do want to ask everybody at the table. I'm all over the place tonight. I don't know what, I didn't sleep well tonight, uh, yesterday. Oh my, tonight. what is going on? <laughs> I didn't, I'm all over the place today. So just going around the table, do you consider yourself a feminist? Uh, I don't know, I, I guess. I feel like, this is how I feel about it. People who say they're feminists and like want equality always talk about how women should be like executives and CEOs and stuff, but like they don't consider that there's low jobs that like they should also have if we truly want equality. Like, ain't no girl out there flashing her titties in a park for equality. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a lot of public flashers that are dudes. Like, I'm interested in seeing a woman, you know take that stand, so. Well, I mean, a ton of women do march in the nude for women's rights. That's not what I'm saying, though. I'm saying, like, public flasher, public masturbator, like, where are we at, you know? It's so, a joke. Wait. It's a oh, joke. Oh, okay. Chill, oh, <laughs> Chill oh, out. Like, it's a joke. That's a little uh, I, Sure, I guess I'm a feminist. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, in the greater side, it kills. Make me laugh, funny lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't get a word in. <laughs> Um, so yes, feminist? Sure, yeah. Le okay. Yeah. I think you said no. Rock and roll. What about you? No. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, whoops. Did not mean to press that. My bad. No. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. But you did mention the patriarchy, so yeah. while we go into that, uh, what is the patriarchy? Um, the system of beliefs uh, held by men who are, you know, um, overly empower um, to basically just set the their standard of what society should be mm -hmm. based off their beliefs of you know are they are, and are they in power because they're men I mean sure probably mm -hmm. and so what percentage of men are in power 
a lot. I don't know. That's a very specific question. But I mean, do you think it might have more to do with like their class or status than the fact that they have a penis? No, I think it usually starts with them having a penis. I think they will get ahead in life a lot easier if they're men. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no. Men okay. have it way hard. Yeah. Men actually have to work to become something. We are just, we're just here. Like, to be quite honest with you, we could get into clubs without having to pay for shit. We could get bottle service without having to pay for anything. But can we get paid the same as men? We do. If we didn't, that'd be, that'd be an issue. What are you talking do. about? Women do not at the make end of the as day, much as men. If a woman cannot do the exact same amount of work as a man, you can't expect them to get paid the same. If a woman construction worker and a man construction worker were, were working right now together, the man is carrying 100 pounds of weight, the woman could only carry 50. Why the hell would that woman get paid the same? Why? What about a man, a man who's an executive and a woman who's an executive? Is she putting in the same amount of work? Yeah. I wouldn't. I mean, let's be real here. If that woman is an executive and let's say she gets pregnant, should she deserve the same amount of money as the man that's actually still going to be at the work at work? <laughs> Besides, this you're at the mercy of the firm's argument, <clears throat> which is, if it were true that what you're saying is true, that women who are not in these construction jobs and this type of thing, but rather are in kind of comfy. AC related jobs like the men hmm. and they're getting paid less than them then why wouldn't a man create an entire firm of women and then Just destroy the their, their competition because well, they're now paying their staff way less yeah why not well, am i but am i wrong that women get paid less than men cuz i don't think i am i think that's pretty common yeah, but knowledge yeah if that is the case right so this is what i'm questioning is the basis for this case right hmm. If it were the case that that were true, which, then, it, which it is, if it is, then why doesn't why don't why doesn't a woman even or a man just hire a firm of these women and pay them less than the firm that are hiring men, because they would make a killing with an all woman staff. T- you tell me. I don't know. I'm not a dude. I'm not making that decision. I, if, if I hired a, worm, a a firm full of women, you bet I would pay them just as much as I'm like. I'm not going to pay them less. That's that seems. Yeah, but backwards. But you would think a man would, right? Potentially. I mean, I don't know who's been paying us less. Well, I don't think I it's would, women. Well, if, then if it's men, then why wouldn't a man just have a firm of all women and pay them less <laughs> if they get the same amount of work out of them? I mean, that's a question for a dude. I can't answer that. Like, seem- why couldn't you answer that? Why wouldn't a man have a firm of all women and pay them less? I don't know. The, I mean, because then they would destroy the competition who's paying the men more, right? Okay. So, I mean, why don't we see that then, if that's the case? Because it's not the case that men are making more in those positions than women are. If it was the case that you could pay women less to do the same job, then why wouldn't you just make a firm and pay all of them way less for the same job? So so you're talking about the wage gap, right? So why don't you tell us what your sense of the wage gap is? Because there's these numbers that get thrown around. Women make 77 cents on the dollar as compared to men. Is that what you're talking about when you say the wage gap? Yeah. So what is the number that you think it is? It's it's around that. Like 80 80 cents on the dollar? Something like that, and then women of color make even less. Yeah, can Nick, uh, we have something on that too. So two things, Nick. The pay scale website on the wage gap. Uh, and then there's also, so you just do uh, Google pay scale wage gap. And then also in the infographics folder, there is the, uh, hold on. There's the wage folder. And in it, you, you mentioned you women, uh, you mentioned in uh, women of color. Mm-hmm. So Nick, you're going to pull up uh, just, it's, in the wage gap folder, the Asian women one. But it's not, not number two. It's the one in the middle with the more straight, the straight lines. Do the Asian women first, then we'll do PASCO. OK. So you mentioned women of color. Actually, Asian women out earn white men. This is the median weekly earnings of full-time workers, white men versus Asian women. That's two. My, minority in, categories. In higher paying jobs is what you're saying. No, across the board. Am I, doing, a, the, doing a comparison to comparison. So it's I'm, my understanding of how they, this is the, from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. They just take all the earnings of men, all the earnings, all the, excuse me, all the earnings of white men compared to all the earnings of Asian women. Now these are all full-time workers, mind you. Now the wage gap that you referenced earlier, that encompasses all the money that men bring in and all the money women bring in. So it could be making a comparison of a woman who has a part-time job as a barista, and part of that data is also comparing it 
to men who work on oil rigs who get hazard pay. And then where are you guys pulling your stuff from? Nick, you can pull up pay scale. Pay scale is a fairly, uh, it's actually pretty, I think it's actually pretty left-leaning. Uh, it's a fairly reputable uh, company. Can you scroll down, Nick? There should be like a circle chart. Scroll down. Okay. Can you scroll in on that one? You might even be able to right click and I don't know if it's an image. The gender pay gap in 2024. So the uncontrolled gender pay gap, which is what you're talking about. Women earn 83 cents for every $1 earned by where you're men. Including like part time and all that. Well, this is where you're not factoring, you're not controlling for anything. So it's all the money that women make, all the money that men make. Okay. But it's not factoring in for the fact that, for example, men, all men collectively work more hours than women. They're more likely to work hour, or excuse me, overtime. They're more likely to relocate. They're more likely to work hazard pay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Wait, pull it back up real quick. The controlled gender pay gap. So this measures median salary for men and women with the same job and qualifications. All men and all women. All men. Well, it's same job, same qualifications. Okay. So if you actually control for each of these things and you start removing these variances like hours worked, different job field, di different choices, it shrinks down to 99 cents. It's still for, <laughs> Right, but it's, I mean, it's still... Um, you make a penny less than a man? Man, that's rough. But let me, time. well, let me ask you this, just out of curiosity, I always wonder this question. Even if it were true, that men who owned firms of mm -hmm. some type or another did hire women at a lesser wage than they hired men. Who the fuck cares? Why is that even a problem? If they're just like, I just don't want these fucking women to make as much as the men that I hire. Why is that actually a problem? I mean, it's a moral problem. What is the moral problem? I mean, that dude's like a piece of shit. Why? <laughs> Why would it make him a piece of shit? Because he doesn't value women as much as he values men. He doesn't value their labor as much. But, but if it's the same labor? Even if it's the same labor, he just doesn't value it as much. Well, then I think that says something about what, how he values women. Yeah, but how would it actually be immoral? Like, why would it be immoral, for instance, if you owned, you owned a business, you said, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> why would it actually be immoral for you to be like, I just don't want to fucking hire men at all. I just don't want to even fucking hire them because I don't like their faces. Why would that even be actually immoral or problematic? I think it's problematic because you're not considering different perspectives that can contribute to the work that you're doing. Yeah, but it's yours. Why do you need to consider other perspectives? Like, fuck the other perspective. It's your shit, right? Like, if you found a business, right, and you built it up for 10 years and you're mm -hmm. going to start hiring people, and you're like, I don't fucking like women. I just don't like them. I don't like them, so I'm not going to hire any. I was thinking about this, and I was trying to figure out what the, what's actually immoral about that? I mean, I just, I guess I just think it speaks to like the, the person's values essentially like that they don't. John Smith donated $200. Hey John, thank you man. The reason these feminists and angry women are so upset is because they don't have a man to tell them to calm down and relax. <laughs> Are you going to uh, do it, John Smith? Thank Calm you, John down. Smith. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Oh, my God. Relax. <laughs> I think I just came. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. But anyway. What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so I was, I was just wondering if you could yeah, elucidate me why you would actually think that that was immoral. I get that you, well, you wouldn't like you're, it. You're saying, you're saying, I don't like women. I don't want, like... That's such a... Like, I don't think that that's, like, good moral standards to just, like... It kind of relates to all the shit that we've been talking about with her and how she wants to hurt men and shit, right? Like, it doesn't feel so far away from that. Yeah, I mean, maybe not, but let us assume that a man goes, you know, a woman's labor, right? It's worth as much as a man's. And in, insofar as the labor she actually does and the labor he's actually doing, it's about the same. But they just cause so many fucking problems, right? They cause all sorts of issues. They complain a lot. They're always at the HR department because they got too flirty with a guy at work. They're just a pain in the fucking ass to deal with. They're just a pain in the ass. And if I have an all male workforce, I don't have to deal with any of those fucking problems. But you have to that deal seems with like it's a really justified and reasoned but reason. Are you saying that all women are like that and that women are just com causing problems no, in the workplace? I'm assume, because I don't I'm think that I've ever been like that in the workplace. Most women aren't like that. Okay. But I'm going to assume that there's enough of them that are mm. that you're still gambling. You could and say that if it's even 20%, so 
I can understand the rationale and could not say it was immoral for a person to be like, yeah, I don't want to fucking deal with all that. I literally just hire, don't want to deal with it. To not hire them. Yeah, to just okay, not hire that, them. Yeah. To like just if, be like, like I have my own business. If I, I mean, I don't plan on hiring anybody. I like just working for myself. But I could see that if someone was like, oh, I just don't want to hire them. I don't think that that's an issue. But if it was like, oh, I'm going to hire them. They're doing the same work, but I'm paying them less because I think that they're doing more complaints. Like, you know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think that... Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. But... I just don't think that like all women are just inherently like gonna cause problems or like these I complaints. Totally okay, that's why I wanted to make Completely, one hundred percent agree. <laughs> yeah. But let's say it's ten percent, which is a lot. That's right. a lot. So Can you like, just fire fire the so one like, who is? That's like one in ten women that you hire. Well, but the problem's already caused, right? Mm. The pro- the issue is already there, and you're like, ah, you know, in this factory. Right, I can have a hot dog put, or a guy put the fucking hot dogs on the little pallet, and then it goes up. Or I can have a woman do it. They do it about as fast. They do about as much work, but I never have to deal with the. Uh, do you think there's a little bit of inherent was, sexism though in yeah. that? Like, I think there's like a little bit of inherent yeah, sexism yeah, my in question, your words. My question is not whether or not it's sexist. Okay. My question would be. Who cares if it is? Why would that be a problem to be sexist under those circumstances? I just don't. So, in other words, how... sexism itself, I'm not sure, is immoral in and of itself if it's indicating a behavior that you're trying to avoid. I, so, for instance, why are wouldn't you it be sexist? Her, then? Well, I'll explain. Wouldn't it be sexist, for instance, for you at night to walk across the street if a group <sighs> of men are moving towards you? Oh my god. Uh, yes, because I would not walk. I would not change what I was doing if I saw a group of women. If I saw a group of men, I would be. A million times more likely so that I'm going across. So are you street. sexist? Hmm. I think it's. I mean, hang on. The, are I, you sexist? Well, in for my own protection, in that case, I would say yes. For your own protection, in that case, yeah. Yes, I will be sexist. Okay. And yeah. aren't we saying the exact same thing? Although mine could be life or death, yours is not a life or death. Uh, it, are wait, those, wait, are wait, those wait, different? It, or, or, <laughs> right? It could be the life and death of your your business. And yeah, that could, that's okay. basically the, to the financial your ruinations, family, right. your life, family, everything else. I agree that maybe the stakes are slightly higher from the physical aspect, but the principle is the same. I'm sexist towards this group because mo- even though most people in this group aren't going to do this, enough of them will right. that I feel like crossing the street, mm. probably a good idea. And do you think right. men would blame you for doing that? Fuck no. no. They're like, right. get, get, go across the street. Right. We know that there's predatory men. Fuck yeah. Right. So why would men get blamed for not wanting to hire women? for day? That, That's my thing. That's why I'm like, hmm. is it immoral? I'm, I have a question. You said <coughs> men yeah. do the, like, you're saying that, what do you say, 10 or 5% of women cause problems in the workplace? Well, like, we're, just a, a we're just assuming it for, would like, the, not, sake of the, for yeah, the sake yeah. of the hypothetical. Would you not say the same thing about men? No. Really? Yes. Really? Yeah. If you what about have the all, men that can't keep it in their pants you, at work and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. jealousy, yeah. But, are you, hang on, but, but are you going to have that problem if you have an all male workforce? But you're saying, no, if hang on, I hang on. But what if it's on. an all woman workforce? Yeah, but if it's an all woman workforce, then you have catty backstabbing fucking all, Same all with sorts men. of other do issues. You, not have you don't that? have the, oh, my dick is bigger Listen, than yours. Like, exactly. I sell more than do you are. Then let's test this, okay? Do you think that uh, at all female private schools versus all male private schools, there's more complaints from the students who are men or more complaints from the students who are girls? I just... If you had to guess. Probably, probably the girls. I'm... Why hang on? Well, wait, wait. Huh? Why do you think that? <coughs> I think that girls are also just more vocal about it, though, their complaints. So the then they're going to cause more... So, so hang yeah, on. exactly. Men so fight. wait a second. So if I have a workforce of men who have complaints but shut their fucking mouths about them versus a workforce <laughs> of women who have complaints and don't, which one do I want to hire? I, but I think the all-women workforce and all-men workforce have an equal amount of problems. They're just different. Yeah, no. If you're saying that one of them's complaining constantly and the other one's not complaining constantly, that's already a huge problem. I don't think women necessarily complain in, the, work, in the workforce. I think there's some level of professionality, professionality that women have when it comes to working that they're just not going to be sitting there complaining 24-7. Really? Well, let me ask you a, a question. A competent woman, yes. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> like, a, and give yeah. me your honest answer. Yeah. Okay? Let's assume you had two different offices that mm-hmm. you could choose from. One office employed 300 women the other office employed 299 men and you. 
Okay, 299 men plus you. Which office would you prefer to work at? Which one's better? Or are you saying they're equal? They're equal. They give you the same pay, right? I just, I don't think it really matters. I mean, at that yeah. point, it would be which, which one I would be happier with. Who, yeah, which, which one do you think you'd I be like happier more. with? Depends on who the boss is. How like The boss is a man in one. In both cases? No, or? in the other one, it's a woman. I don't really think there's a difference. No, you wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. There at would all, be no, no preference. I mean, maybe if like the male one, because I'd feel like, oh, you know, I'm kind of special. But like that's it, because I'm the only woman that was hired. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, you know, but like. And you don't think that, that that would have anything to do with the fact that there would be way less catty bullshit, backstabbing, bitching, whining, complaining, telling you all about how touching touch is a mean <laughs> well, bitch. I think the I, second <laughs> she walks out of the room to you, I think you're and you have drama clicks all over the place. I don't disagree with that. What I'm saying though is men have equal issues no. just in different here's ways what happens so on if you're one woman with happens. a bunch of men like i would feel gonna, way more comfortable yeah, with a bunch of women safe. i would feel I more connected to them i would be here's more motivated happens. here's what happens on a construction site right or something like this um they're all fucking exhausted from working their asses off and they don't have time to whine and complain and click and and do all that shit they just don't yeah. and inside of office spaces sales spaces things like that yeah there's a bit of that for men but to say it's anywhere on par like it is for women, you talk to women who are in these sales jobs, and they're like, oh my God, these fucking bitches are awful. They're backstabbers, they're connivers, they click up. If you're not part of the click, they, you know, they're just horrible, insufferable. Mm. I think that's like putting a very like big stigma on women. I don't think, especially in it a It is workforce. putting a very big stigma on, but the question is whether or not the stigma is deserved. I think n- no. I think especially that's like one thing that I said, like I would say I disagree with the podcast that the women that are selected to usually be on this podcast are somewhat kind of like that and represent a different kind of like the more problematic side of women, which I mm-hmm. agree a large majority of women can be problematic. You ever talked to a hairstylist before? I mean, yes. Well, <laughs> have they ever told you what it's like to work in the beauty industry? I was I got my hair done three days ago. She was talking to me about how all the sororities girls come in and they talk shit all on each other and she just hears it. All day. All day. Yes. Every day. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with yeah, that but, at all. But that's the thing. is that That's why the stigma exists. The stigma, I, hang on, the stigma exists specifically because of the application. So what I'm saying to you is if she's willing to cross the street based on her sexism, mm-hmm. There's this low percentage of men who are actually predatory. In fact, almost every man you walk by in the middle of the night is not going to do anything to you. Do I blame you for crossing the street, though? Not really. Not really, because I can understand, I can rationalize in my brain why a woman would want to do that. And I'd recommend to my wife to do it. She's walking down the street in the middle of the night under some circumstance, cross the street. Do you have a wife? Totally rational. Yes, I have a wife. Totally rational to me, Okay. But it's equally rational to me then to say, okay, if I had a firm, right, and there was some inbuilt sexism based around the stigma, would it be rational for me to only want to hire men? I think it's rational to say I only would want to hire men. I don't think it's immoral that a, a person would move down that, um, that thought pattern of I'll only hire X based on uh, social stigmas, which can cause serious problems to their business for their own protection. That's all I'm saying. I don't even disagree that the stigma is not partially deserved. It is. Yeah. I'll be the right. first to admit it. Yeah. Like, all of us have gone through high school. You know what girls yes. are like there. It's not like it, it's partially deserved, but I think it's. It's that mean girls shit, right? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, I don't disagree Absolutely. with it, but I also think that there's a good majority of girls that aren't like that. There's plenty of men yeah. with the mean girl mentality, too. I mean, I work with, I would say, equally men and women, and usually it's the men that are starting the problems, and all the women that I work with have acknowledged this. Like, we're all really, really cool. We have our problems every now and then, um, but I would say, like, mostly it's the men that are causing problems, and they are just equally as catty, and maybe you're basing this off a standard of men pre-social media, perhaps, but I think with the way that men are socialized today, mm-hmm. a lot of them are mean girls. I think That's it's also funny. a big thing is that men probably have less problems with men than women have with women, if you get what I mean. Totally agree. Like men so hang on, wom- so that would be a justification for stigma, though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't disagree, but also in a workplace where it's men and women, I feel like there'd be less problems than having a full male staff or a full woman staff. Well, then answer me this. Do you think that there's less problems socially if you send kids to an all-boys school 
in an all-girls school than if you put them in a co-ed school. I think co-ed schools have less problems. They don't. I well, say, I think non-co-ed schools have less way. problems. That's also because they're private schools, more funding and more the public schools tend you to You have private co-ed schools you can sense. compare it to. Yeah. It would be different kinds so of problems. It's different though. kinds of problems. Okay, let's go through what you think these different problems would be. I think women tend to, yes, have more catty drama and play more of a mental game with each other, but men are more likely to have physical altercations yeah, over something like stupid. Yeah, like that shit. Exactly, and women like women like it like, too. I, I think that's I like I hearing agree. drama. Girls like to be catty. It, it, they it, like the you're drama. You're making with that. every point for me right now. Well, I yeah, totally we're not, agree. So we're not wait. Disagreeing so with men you, enjoy necessarily. being violent with each other. Totally agree. Can't couldn't There's agree a reason more. The UFC women is like being conniving catty bitches with each other. Couldn't agree more. I don't think more. all okay. women. I think catty bitches is a little bit of. So what's the difference? I don't. I'm not sure. Hold on. I want to make a point. What's the difference between me being violent towards a man, but men being violent towards each other and making it okay? They're both they bad. They're okay, fair enough. But why is that like you're saying like men just like this shit? Like it's like and you're justifying it. They're violent by consent. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason I think that the UFC <laughs> And as long as they're violent they're by, each consent, other by consent. It's all yeah. good with you, right? True. Yeah. Yeah. You can do whatever you want, as long as it's by consent. So anyway, but the the point is though, is that if I'm looking at the standard of understanding why you would want to cross the street, you'd have that innate sexism which is yes. put in you, yeah, right. that this person potentially could harm me greatly, then all I'm saying is that I understand why it is that men would have the same exact uh, feeling the opposite. This woman could destroy me. I understand why men would adopt the, I don't go around women without another man or another woman present who I trust, or I don't go to private lunches with women unless there's a woman with me, or I don't go around women without my wife. I totally understand that. It makes a lot of sense to me. It does make more sense to me now. I, I mean, I guess it was not something I had ever thought of. Yeah. But he, having this conversation, it definitely, like, is yeah. I, like there's things connecting my brain that I'm like, ooh, that is really interesting and, like, not a perspective I've thought of before. I think it makes one, yeah, me... Yeah, once you absent the propaganda and you just right. have the conversation, yeah, right? yeah, it's yeah, interesting like, how you see it. Yeah, <laughs> it's inter- yeah, it is interesting. Um, I think as a woman who has broken out of that, like, caddy, like, because I was, I was, I would say, like, as in high school, I would, like say that I was one of those mean girls I was mm-hmm. trying to get at the top of this food chain, whatever. And since growing out of that, leading it's people... It's super highly competitive, too, right? Oh, so competitive. Yeah. God, I don't think I won. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, I went through a lot of growth, especially my early 20s. I, like, moved away, you know, and it's like I went on a very, like, spiritual path of growth out in nature. And, like, so hearing that, like, it, it is disheartening only the fact that, like, I don't believe that in a workplace I would cause problems. That, like, let's say that would be, like, my dream job, but, like, someone is only going to be hiring men, I'd be like, no way, but like, I promise I'm not going to cook. Like, I wish that I would still be able to get that chance to prove myself. Sure. You know? No, I under- that, that's the only thing, but I do understand what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, I understand, but that yeah. would be the same way that the men walking down the street who were just walking over to right. talk to you. He's like, I just want to prove to you. I just want to prove to you that I'm not a horrible <laughs> and I, like, predator. Have my yeah, you got strike. your mace ready, everything right. else, right? I, right? But I was just trying to prove, and you would rather go, I could let you prove it and take the risk, right? or I can cross the that fucking street. That is really street. interesting. Mm. I'm, not, I'm like that's really interesting. That was actually it was fantastic. Yeah, that was good. Right? By Andrew. Uh, yeah, two things really quick, then we'll get into the next topic. Nick, could you pull up the view counter? We haven't done that in a while, guys. There are how many we got? We got seven thousand six hundred watching. 